What's up everyone, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Patreon requested dinosaur today. Don't get many dinosaur requests through Patreon. Spinosaurus, full body. So, the whole lot. Hands, legs, head, tail, spine. <laughs> Asaurus. So, his head's really small, right? Up here, so I'm gonna have to zoom in, right? So it's really, 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 really small. So, zoop, right? And we're gonna put his eye, like, teeny tiny, compared to the rest of his body, anyway. So, like, a really small, sort of grain of rice kind of shape. Okay. And we'll give him, like, just a slit for an eye. Just a line like that. And then we got some lines coming around. Bags under his eyes and stuff. So... Then we got like a big frowning line coming down around here. And this is kind of bumpy around his eye. Like so. And if you want, you can add some like textures to that. Okay. Okay, so then the top of his head has this other bump here which goes up and then down and this will go all the way out to a snout and a snout kind of raises up at the near the end right so it's kind of like a duck <laughs> sort of thing and this will have some textures on it too and you might be able to see like a little bit of his eyebrow on the other side so this snout then comes back around down, dips down there, and comes back up, dips down under the eye, and then curves to the back of the head. Right, so we've got a couple of bumps there on his head. And then the top of the head comes out, down, round like so. So then, nostril here, Like that, and then we have another sort of space just in here. Like edge lines and like top lip line and all this kind of stuff. And then this will have some textures on it. Just add as much wrinkles and things as you want. Give him a scar if you want. Okay. It's a little bump there on the top of the head. Okay, so the bottom jaw then comes from here. Right, this corner comes around, down, around like so, real long, and then we go back up, like that. And you do the same thing as you did up here, you just add these sort of texture lines just to show that he's kind of scaly. So this is like his lip. And then like some scales. Just some texture lines like this. Just short little dots and dashes. Just to make them look a little bit bumpy. Okay, so then he's got this sort of skin flap that holds his bottom and top jaw together. <coughs> this has some more lines inside it, like so. <coughs> Excuse me. And then teeth, right? So teeth coming down from the top jaw, right? So we'll go kind of start small here, just 
on this side of his eye. And then they gradually start to get bigger. Some big ones here. Some big ones at the front. Right, and then we can see like a little bit of his mouth at the back on the other side, right? So when this skin flap comes down on the other side there as well. Right, so that means you can see some teeth growing on the other side of his mouth in between. Right, kind of like that. And then teeth down here, starting real small again. get too big down here. A little bit big at the front. All right, and then we can just see like his tongue. Sticking out just behind the teeth. some teeth at the back. Like so. Okay, so then his neck and body and all that good stuff. So coming out from here, neck goes out and then it goes down this way kind of goes in behind his hands there and then from the top comes out this way okay we can have some like Scaly sort of lines just coming down his neck here. Ba -da -ba -ba. So this eventually be. Touches his hands. There's a big image going on those. Right, yeah, okay. So now the spine, right? So it bumps up. There's loads of texture on his body, but we just get the main shape in first. So we just bump around for this sort of fin that's on the back. Right, like this and this will eventually go all the way down to his tail and you can kind of fit the tail in whatever way you can we'll go around that way and then we'll curve it and then back up and to there and we need a leg we need a leg somewhere here. So like, sort of in line with the end of the spine there. So the leg, big thigh sort of curves around. There's lots of like skin lines and stuff here. It's like a big chicken drumstick. And then this comes down that way. And again, lots of like skin lines and stuff here. Right, so now he's got his calf muscle. Like his knee and the front of his shin. And then his foot sticks out the back. There. Down around. Like so. So this is like his toe then. So he's got like a claw. Just 
just on the ground here. Well, it's kind of floating a little bit. A little claw here. If I go too fast, remember to hit pause. Okay, and then this toe sort of scoots up around this way. And then the claw at the front. Just sticks out here. You've got like skin lines on the front of the toe. Okay, so we can kind of only see two toes really on that foot. I mean, probably only two on the other. So then, bottom of the body goes this way underneath the arms. So it would join the neck here if there was no arms, but there is arms. So we leave a little gap. The other leg out from behind the body here. Like so. And then this curves down like so. So what do we got here? So like a toe. How many toes? He only has three. So we can see like one here. With the claw, this is like a short one. And I think there is a toe on the leg. You know, one of those ones that are like, that are like sticking down like here somewhere. It's one of these things. Like that. And then the front just bumps around here. Like so, and then you can add like lines on the top of the skin for the feet, like that. Right, so then his arms, right, and then we'll add textures and skin lines and everything. So we have one arm coming out here, right on the other side of it, there, really small, like kind of like T Rex, you know, and then this just like curves down. <coughs> around so it goes in here and then the next finger like so and then this is like the bottom of his hand like that and then we have like claws just there and then the elbow goes around here tricep and then shoulder line and then the underneath of this arm comes around shoulder line and then we've got all these skin lines just coming around the shoulder like that and then his other arm is kind of sticking out like a claw so coming out this way let's see I'll just have like a big all sticking off here. This and then curves around like so. Right, so <clears throat> our next step is textures. So skin and all these folding lines, right? So the body has sort of these lines that come down here across the spine. And down the tail and everything. Right, and then the spine has each of these is like a you know, fan sort of shape, so.
right like so and then all these textures around the leg and everything so just wrinkly skin lines basically is what you're aiming for right and you're following the curve say of this of this drumstick see that carving it around and I kind of like broken lines so you're like holding your pen kind of lightly or your pencil and you're just following the curvature you don't need to do too much lines coming down here And you can just you could keep going forever and ever. I'll just to add some lines just coming across these as well. Right, just tidying up some of my edge lines. Okay, but I think that'll do. That is how to draw Spinosaurus. Full body. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for the request. Anyone else with specific requests like this, head on over to Patreon. And, you know, for full body sort of things that I don't maybe normally do or okay see you in the next one bye